Hi everyone, so today's video is on this festive makeup look for dusky or dark skin tones. So if you want to know how I got this look with two different lip options, then please keep on watching. So my brows are already done and I'm wearing fresh lip contacts in hazel. I'm gonna start off by prepping my eyelids for the eyeshadow. I'm using a wet n wild photo focus concealer here. So I've just applied a little bit of that concealer and I'm gonna blend it using my ring finger. Once I've blended the concealer, I'm gonna set it with a loose powder. Then I'm gonna take this contour powder from my sleek contour kit and I'm gonna add this color to the socket of my eye in a windshield wiper motion. So right now my eyes have that cool tone so I'm gonna add a bit of warmth by using this Miss Claire Matte Red Eyeshadow. I'm using the same fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna add that on the crease as well. Then I'm gonna take this super shimmery eyeshadow from Colourpop. It's in the shade Sequin. It's a beautiful sparkly rose gold shade and I'm gonna apply that on my entire eyelid. Any sparkly eye, eye color looks beautiful on dark deep skin tones. And then I'm gonna take this um, Colourpop eyeshadow in the shade Central Perk which is an amazing uh, burgundy shade so I'm just adding that at the outer V of my eyes and burgundy colors also look really good on dusky complexions. And then I'm gonna take this matte black eyeshadow from Miss Claire and I'm gonna apply that as an eyeliner and this is gonna give a smoky effect on the eyes. I've used an angled brush to do that step. Then I'm gonna take the Color Essence Liquid Eyeliner and I'm gonna create a very, very thin line along my upper lash line, almost like an invisible eyeliner, just to define my upper lash line. Then I'm gonna prime my face using the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. I'm just dotting it on my entire face and blending it out using my fingertips. Then I'm grabbing this MAC concealer palette. I'm gonna take that orange color corrector and I'm gonna correct my dark circles, the pigmentation around my nose, my mouth, and also the acne spots on my face. This MAC palette has a lot of different shades for darker complexions. So you can correct, conceal, or contour with the uh, single palette. Then I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Matte Magic Foundation in the shade G5 and I've dotted it across my face and I'm blending it out using a huge buffing brush from PAC. And this foundation is also a great option for darker complexions. Then I'm gonna take the same Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade uh, Deep Tan and I'm gonna highlight my uh, under eye on my center of my forehead, on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin. I'm using the same buffing brush to blend out the highlighted areas of my face. Then I'm going to take the MAC concealer palette. I'm going to pick up that deep uh, concealer from the palette and I'm gonna contour underneath the hollows of my cheeks alongside my forehead on my jawline under my chin under my lower lip slightly on my upper lip to make my lips look plumper and alongside my nose to make my nose look sharper. So 
So once I'm done with the concealer application to contour my face, I'm using a shorter brush to blend out all the um, areas where I've applied the contour product. Then to set my face, I'm using this Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. This is a really amazing translucent powder to set your face if you have very very oily skin like mine. So after applying the powder with the uh, powder puff, I'm gonna take a fluffy powder brush and uh, blend it out so that uh, it doesn't look patchy. Then I'm gonna line my lower waterline and my lower lash line using the PAC Intense Coal. I'm using the same central perk shade from Colourpop and I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line. I'm gonna add a bit of matte black eyeshadow at the very outer corners of my lower lash line and I'm just gonna make it slightly smokier. Then I'm taking the sleek contour kit, I'm going to take the contour powder and set my cream contour in place. So I'm just basically applying the contour powder wherever I use the concealer to contour my face. I'm using a smaller brush to set my nose contour here. Then to add a wet looking glow to my face, I'm using the Savannah Colors Shimmer Brick Highlighter. So I'm just applying that on the tops of my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, my chin. And I'm also gonna highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone. This highlighter looks absolutely beautiful on all skin tones. Then to coat my eyelashes, I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Superstar Mascara. So I've just taken the number one side which has um, tiny fiber particles which sticks to your eyelash and makes it look voluminous. So I'm just applying that to my top and bottom eyelashes first. Then I'm going to take the number two side which is a regular mascara. So once the um, number one side gets a slightly dry I'm gonna coat it with the black mascara to add a flush of color to my cheeks I'm using this beautiful plummy shade from Miss Claire so I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks and also slightly above the contour to line my lips, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Obsession. This is a really, really beautiful color for dusky complexions. And for lipstick, I use the L'Oreal Moist Matte Lipstick in the shade Sheer Plum, which is a mauve lip color. And unfortunately, the footage got uh, deleted. So yeah, that's the color that I applied first. And then I went over with this Lacme 9 to 5 lipstick in the shade Scarlet Drill. So that is the look complete with the um, first lip color option. I've also applied a pair of falsies off camera. Moving on to the bolder lip option, I'm using this Lacme lip liner in the shade Black Current to line my lips and give a nice shape first. Then 
Then I'm gonna take this super vampire-y uh, deep dark shade from the PAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick range and this is in the shade Mystic and the number is 42 so I've just applied that on my entire lips and it looks so so bold so yeah that is the finished look so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video with two different lip color options for uh, dusky to dark skin tones please do give this video a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe for more such videos and i will see you all soon in my next video bye